One thing we got to watch out, though, for, Jamie, is socialism. And uh, fortunately, <laughs> they have given Ben Shapiro a television program on TV. Best impression you have. Um, to tell us to uh, the socialism watch. This is the Ben Shapiro election special <laughs> socialism watch. Here he is. Socialism on the ballot? Tech? Oh, maybe. There we go. Cuba's gone out of fashion. Turns out that when people are floating 1950s Chevys into the Atlantic Ocean, that's kind of a bad sign. These days, Norway is the Marxist paradise. There are just a few problems with this perspective. First off, Norway isn't socialist. It's a capitalist country burdened with massively expensive socialist redistribution programs. Pause Norway- it. They're burdened with it. You know who burdened them with it? The country itself burdened themselves with it. In other words, it's not a burden. It's something they've chosen to adopt. I thought it was Cuba. Well, he was talking Cuba first. Now, of course, what he wasn't saying about Cuba is that uh, the reason why they have a Chevy in the water is because of the uh, blockade, oh, the economic blame uh, the blockade. Right, that Basically, we've had you're on blaming Cuba. White, white guys again. Right, exactly. For the embargo on Cuba. Uh, we didn't, we wouldn't allow them, uh, we, we wouldn't allow for anybody to sell them uh, vehicles. So we're going to mock them for having old vehicles. Good. Expensive socialist redistribution programs. Norway ranks 23rd in the world in business climate compared with the United States at 18. Pause it. So, Whoa. Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Stop the presses. Ben Shapiro has just made a very strong argument that you can have extreme wealth redistribution in this country and we could virtually maintain our uh, world business climate ranking even from the Heritage Foundation. I mean, because surely... The only thing that we don't have uh, that we have going for us is not just that we don't have massive uh, wealth redistribution. There's got to be other things, right? It's America. We're number one, maybe 18. And oh, so it's so great, though. It's like if we did all of these incredible social interventions, it would only knock us five points down the list. Well, no, Beautiful. I mean, it probably wouldn't. Yeah. It would probably just knock us to 19th. And what's the difference 18th and 19th? But I don't know that that's his point, is it? Norway ranks 23rd in the world in business climate compared with the United States at 18th. As for Norway's social programs, its spending habits have been subsidized by an enormous oil slush fund and supremely high taxes. Pause Here is the so there we should do it. Um, the only way to do this is to get enormously high uh, taxes. That's fine. And he's saying that we should exappropriate the, 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 um, all of the oil digging that's going on in this country. Now, I don't know if I would go that far. I'd probably do the uh, refineries uh, I would nationalize. But it is an interesting idea. It works in Alaska. Um, that money, at least in some part, comes from um, the oil that is um, uh, dug up there. Maybe we should do a part of that. Here. I also just like, though, just like it's public, so it's a slush fund. Like, is Exxon a giant slush fund? Yes. Because it's Purdue. Okay. Well, the fair Let's enough. It's it. all a, the economy is a slush fund. I'm into it. I tax it. Here is the reality. Norway's successes, lower levels of income inequality, high levels of prosperity, those predate the rise of Norway's socialist infrastructure. They're actually a result of Nordic social capital, high levels of social trust, and cultural homogeneity. Presumably, President Obama would tell Americans that Scandinavia is a sort of heaven. Pause it. So, in other words, uh, socialism hasn't made things any worse, yet it clearly has made for a lot more um, um, benefits to people. At a time where inequality is rising, that more capitalist and more capitalist economies, socialist one is stick to the reason more why. It's because there's something special about the Nords. There's they a saying. Norway's a little slice of heaven. Check their amygdalas. <laughs> Total heaven. heaven on earth. In Scandinavia, he'd say, there's no poverty. Well, as Milton Friedman responded to a similar statement, in America, among Scandinavians, there's no poverty either. Social capital matters. Culture matters. That social capital is being actively undermined by Norway's generous welfare state, which actually pays people not to work. As The Economist wrote in 2015, quote, Norwegians have coined a verb, to nav, meaning to get money from nav, the state's benefits agency. That welfare state policy also endangers immigrant social and economic mobility. As of 2017, the Norwegian Labor and Welfare Administration 
found that about half the total number of people in Norway receiving social welfare payments were immigrants. That report also stated that many of those immigrants Pause it. Like, were li- what is what is social welfare payments in Norway look like? Yeah. Right? Like they get health care. They're getting uh, all sorts of different subsidies in terms of work. Like what does social welfare look like? I'm curious. But everything sounds fine so far. I, Receiving I social welfare payments were immigrants. That report also stated that many of those immigrants were living in poverty-like conditions. Well, that's probably why they were eligible for the welfare. But what he fails to argue is what's the problem? The only problem, it seems to me, is they need to make the social welfare payments higher. The only thing it sounds like he's trying to argue is that there's something fundamentally better about the Nords. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Is. Well, in his mind, it seems like he's arguing that it's they're homogenous so they can afford to spread uh, uh, yeah. resources. No, around. it's the classic. They're all white. So they have high social trust, which is why they have a great economy and they can have a, they, it's, I, they The right wing says they have high social capital, which is why their capitalism works. And then the, yeah, what's the, that neo, and then the neoliberals say they're, they have homogeneity, which is why they're able to have a social safety net. And they're both just lanes for arguing against why we can't have universal health care and so on here it sounds like he is making an argument that you can uh, genetically have a higher class than other people right he's tying it to race and racial homogeneity yeah i mean they shift to culture now but we know yeah but it's the same uh pretty amazing that the top three um largest uh amounts of scandinavians in the country are in uh, blue states hmm Mm. Mm. Also, I know, I mean, from North Dakota, a lot of those people were given land by the United States government when they came over here and told if they farmed it for a period of years, they could just have that. Hey, 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 hey. Right. (laughs) Shut up. And I imagine, uh, unlike the, um, the black folk who were given land at that time or bought land, um, didn't have it taken away by people in the Midwest, literally have it taken away.